Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new triple threat online reward Galaxy Opal Ron Harper gameplay. Now, before we dive into Ron Harper, his stats, badges, animations, shoot around, all of that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. Shout out to my guy AG Sprints for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. Now, Ron Harper's always been one of my favorite cards to use in 2K in general, whether it's my leagues, whether it's, you know, obviously my team now, he's always been one of my favorites. So I'm excited to use Ron Harper. Six foot six, 185 pounds, 88 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 90 ball handle, does come with an 88 block, 98 steal, 98 perimeter defense, 85 interior defense. Rebounding stats are super, super low, so don't expect Ron Harper to grab a lot of rebounds for you. Still does come with a 96 speed, speed with ball acceleration, as well as that 98 lateral quickness. Tendencies for Harper are absolutely ridiculous. 95 driving dunk tendency. But look at the defensive tendencies on Ron Harper. 100 pass interception and on ball steal tendencies, as well as a 99 contest shot and 98 block shot tendency. Badge wise, 35 Hall of Famers, catch and shoot, relentless finisher, ankle breaker, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator. Does come with pogo stick, ties, fender, trapper, contact finisher, showtime, handles for days, quick first step, space, greater tie, handles, unpluckable, hot zone hunter, hot star, as well as floor drainer. 12 on gold corner specialist, chase tarnish, rebound, chaser, pro touch, stop and go, flexible green machine, and range extender. Now, looking at Ron Harper, he is a Galaxy Opal, so he does have those six badge spots. Now, the thing is, he does need a few badges. Like, if you want to use Ron Harper competitively, these are the badges I would choose between. Volume Shooter, Tyler Shooter, Slippery Off Ball, Dead Eye, Bailout. Uh, he does need Post Move, Lockdown, Rim Protector. Those are the main ones I see. So, seven or eight badges you need to apply to Ron. I'll let you guys pick and choose what badges you think are necessary. Obviously, if you do, if you are on Next Gen, I probably do want to apply the Blinders badge. Looking at Ron Harper here, Man, and he like he is six six, but look at his player build. Like I just feel like his player build looks more like he's six eight than six six. Now maybe that's just me, but I do love the player build of Ron Harper. I really truly do. And just look at the way he moves. Like I don't know about you, but I do like the way Ron Harper moves. Again, he does have this jump shot that isn't great. It's jump shot eighteen. It's the Mata Ginobili release. Now his is on very quick. But I still feel like you got to just hold it down a little bit longer than you might like. Now, it's not the worst release in the game. I don't want to sit here and say that. But you do have to hold it down compared to a lot of the other releases on very quick. Again, not the worst release in the game. And you should be able to knock down a large percent of his shots. Especially from the hot spots where he does have the Hall of Fame hot zone hunter. But just kind of know going into using Ron Harper what to expect. And part of that is not an incredible release. That's just part of what Ron Harper brings to the table. He doesn't have the best release in the game, but you guys can see I'm green and maybe 40, 50% of my shots with Ron Harper, which at the end of the day, isn't terrible, right? There's a lot worse releases in the game. Like, you know, there, what is it? Set shot four that I hate. I mean, there's a lot worse releases in the game than what Ron Harper brings to the table. You guys can see, I just like the way he moves in general. And the more I do use this release, the more I don't hate it. The more I feel like, you know, it's not obviously the quickest release in the game, but it's decently easy to green for Ron Harper. I will say that, you know, especially the more I use it. But best part about Ron Harper's offensive game, guys, is the Hall of Fame showtime that he brings to the table. Looking at my opponent here, he's got Harden, MJ, Vince, Detlef Shrimp, and A. Disney. So he's got a pretty solid lineup, but I feel like my lineup is just that little bit better. Let's go. I've, I've been waiting for a good Ron Harper card. I really have because, like I said, he's always been just kind of my guy in 2K. Like, he just always has been. I've always loved Ron Harper. Oh, yeah. Show me the Showtime. Okay, I see you. That's Showtime, right? You guys can see Showtime on display. Can't wait to get team take. Oh, yeah. Give me a stop. Come on. Yeah, Ron. Beat him up, Ron. Beat him up, Ron. That's great, D. We're fine. Don't throw it out here. Don't throw it out here. Don't throw it out here because you got to know Ron Harper is lurking. Don't throw it out here. Oh, my goodness. He really threw it. That's so baited. Look at Mel Daniels. That is just so baited. Over to KD. No, I thought he was for sure going to jump. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Come here. Back to Moses, one more to KD. That's a great offensive possession. And I shred the release with KD. All right, bro, come here. All right, you're getting beat up. I need to reset. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Over to Chicken Man, Moses Malone. That's what I'm talking about, Ron Harper. Creating for others. Hall of Fame Dimer on display. Oh, yeah. That should be my bump. That should be my bump. Oh, yeah. Look at Ron. Uh-oh. Perfect. Show me the release. That release is not that bad, guys. Like... It's truly not. It's not the best release in the game, but I've seen many releases that are worse than Ron Harper's. Oh, yeah. And look at him on defense. And look at him on defense. And look at him on defense. Forced him right to Mel Daniels. Yep, you know where to get the ball. Are you going to step up? That's fine. MJ, one of the best defenders in the game. That's a dot. Come on. Oh, I got to hold it down. That's my fault, Moses. Come here, KD. It's another great pass. Come on, no way I missed two in a row with Moses. I got to be green in those. That should be mine. Ooh. Yes, sir. Look at Ron Harper, man. He is getting active early. Oh, yeah, you put Ben Simmons in the game. You're already getting desperate. Goodness, look at Ron. Oh, my. All right. That's just Ben Simmons, but that's a good move nonetheless. I'm not even mad because that's a good move. You threw that? Come on, man. Not with Ron Harper lurking. All right, come here. I need a reset. I need a reset. Ron is Ron is exhausted. Come here. That's a Mel. I don't know what release you got, Mel. That's actually a pretty chicken release. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, Ron. Oh, yeah, Ron. Oh, yeah, Ron. Look at Ron Harper. The more I use his release, guys, the more I like it. You guys saw the same gameplay I saw. I think he had nine points, three assists. was very, very, very good. I mean, he greened two out of his two threes as well. So, Ron Harper looked good in my team unlimited. Let's see if he can look good in triple threat online. This guy I'm playing is probably mad because he's probably trying to get Ron Harper, and I've already got him. So, he's probably like, what are you doing? I'm telling you guys, I know I didn't green that, but I do not mind this release at all. Like, I truly don't mind it one bit. That's fine, because I know you're not getting a stop on my run. I know you're not getting a stop on my run. Showtime 360 between the legs, Ron Harper. It's just so quick. Oh, my goodness. Look at the bailout. He doesn't even have bailout either. Like, I don't think his base card has bailout. And that's what I'm saying. You need to give him bailout. Oh, yeah, Ron. It's too easy. It's too easy. I do not mind that release. Give me that, says KD. Chill. Where's Ron? Stop hacking. I want to green another three with you, honestly. Come here. Peekaboo! I'm telling you guys, this is, I, I don't know, 2K knows something about this release that we don't because it is, it is green. I don't know what it is. I didn't think it was a good release, but you don't need a lot of space right there. Ron didn't have an, a lot of space right there. Oh my goodness. Give me my bump. Like, I got my bump for... He shot a very late. What in the world? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over to Chris. That's fine. That's a great offense. I missed good shot, Chris Webber. And there's the lock badge that we're looking for. Just watch how aggressive Ron Harper gets. Oh, yeah, Ron. Oh, yeah, Ron. Ah. Dang. Malik be beating me up. He was until Ron just absolutely killed him when the, in the, into the screen into a white. I'm good. I'm sitting. You shot that? You know who to get the ball to. That's great. Finish him. It's so tough. Ron Harper, man. I love the way you move. Looking at our final box score here for Ron Harper. 17 points, 2 assists. The dude did not miss. When Ron Harper first got released, I thought the dude would be good. Not only is Ron Harper good, this dude is a top point guard in the game. Like, 
I don't know what there is to say about it. I don't even have a three-point shoe on him. I get, I know I'm running Vogel to give him plus three. But the dude, his release is not even bad. It's not a bad release at all. I know it gets a lot of negative hype. But it's really, truly not a terrible release. That combined on the offensive end with Hall of Fame Showtime, all of his playmaking badges, what more could you honestly want? Now, again, you do have to be good to get Ron Harper because he is on that top tier of triple threat online. So he's not an easy card to get or even to see. But once you get Ron Harper, if you get the opportunity to get him, trust me, he is very, very elite in NBA 2K21, at least on current gen. I don't know what this release looks like on next gen, but current gen wise, Ron Harper is elite. Has the Curry escape, has the pro to tween defensively 6'8 or 6'6 with the 6'9 wingspan, beats people up absolutely elite now how does he compare to let's say a guy like john wall and here's where i think it gets interesting right obviously john wall has a better release but outside of that guys i don't know i don't know between these two who i'm taking now you guys might bash me down below in the comments but i'm a big ron harper fan for the stage we're in in 2k with these tall point guards ron harper can compete at 6-6 with his defense i'm a big ron harper guy and he's probably a card i'm gonna be grinding for on my no money spend account but i hope you guys did enjoy the ron harper gameplay guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day